Hey guys, today I'm bringing you along three days when I cleaned, decluttered my whole house. My house was probably the messiest it had been in a long time, so hopefully you're ready to see a lot of big time transformations, a lot of deep cleaning, and satisfying results. I did so much speed cleaning and the results were pretty amazing. I hope by the end of this video, you are motivated to get at least one thing done. So like I said earlier, this is going to be cleaning over three days. And I had someone recently ask me if I could show timestamps because as you guys, you'll see here on day one, I started out by starting some laundry and making my bed at 9 a.m. But then I didn't start cleaning again until 1.30. And I know that something that you guys don't really see when you see a video all edited together, it looks like, you know, I just have seven or eight straight hours of cleaning, but that is definitely not the case. It did not happen. So let me know if you like seeing the timestamps, but I started out in the morning just by making my bed and getting some laundry started. And then when the twins went down for their nap later, I was going to clean up our super, super messy living room and kitchen. You guys, it had gotten really out of hand wait till you see how bad how messy the living room kitchen and basement were I almost want to defend myself because when I'm looking back at this mess, I'm like, how do, does a house get like this? It's so crazy. And yes, that is a toilet seat on the carpet, but it was clean. We have just started um, potty training with the twins and we had pulled it out of the linen closet. We actually have two that we already had in the bathroom down here, but we pulled the second one out from the linen closet upstairs and the twins were playing with it. So it's clean, don't worry. But yes, we let the house go, or I said, yeah, we let the house go over about three days, and this is the result. This was the result of one day of it being absolutely beautiful outside. Here in Ohio in February or March, you know, we don't really get nice weather. So I think we had one day, it was in the low 60s. And so we just spent a lot of time, as much time as we could outside. And then another day, it was my birthday, and then um, another day we had some family over. Avery just started basketball this week. My parents came over. And this is just what the house looked like after all of that. And you know what? You know that it really does drive me crazy, but it felt good to just let things go for a little bit of time. I think the important thing is that if you let your house go like this, it's okay, but just don't let it become a habit. And I know I won't, um, but I do want to get a little bit more laid back about letting my house go and knowing that, you know, some days it's okay just to, re cho to choose to relax and spend more time with family and relax or have time for myself and have fun and let the house get messy. It's okay. So even though I was going strong in the living room and the kitchen, I wanted to take a break because Avery was going to have basketball and I wanted to have her help me clean up the basement. So I pulled her downstairs with me so we 
could clean up the basement together before she went to basketball. And if you guys have never been to Jamie's Journey before, hello, I'm Jamie, and I am truly glad that you're here. You're watching my video. My goal is to create a community where we're friends, we're cleaning together, we're getting things done, and that you never feel less than. I'm here for you. And it's funny because I'm trying to take more of the advice that I give you. Sometimes I tell you that it's okay to just do one thing a day. Maybe it's just taking care of your kids or getting the lawn one load of laundry done or loading the dishwasher and that's okay. So now I'm trying to practice what I preach. So this video is a result of that. But if you are new, make sure you say hi. I recently announced a little change to my posting schedule here. So you're always going to get Sunday cleaning motiv motivation. Every Sunday, I'm going to post a new video. And then my second video will be every other Thursday. I'm only dropping one video a month. I was putting up seven videos and now it will be six. And it just was something that I had to do. You know, I can't do it all. Um, and like I said earlier, Avery has joined in a couple different activities. Mike, my husband, his job really kicks up during this time of the year and it gets very demanding. Um, you know, even though Avery's in school full time, the twins aren't. So just having the twins at home with me, Mike being more focused on work, more activities in the evenings and on the weekends, it's hard to juggle everything. So every other Thursday, but then every Sunday will be my posting schedule. And I'm learning that even though I want to do it all, I can't always do it all. I can't, you know, clean the whole house and take care of my kids and run Avery here and do it all. Um, you know, I want to be a good mom. I want to be a good wife. I want to create content here on YouTube and even though I want to do it all, I know I can't. So I'm learning to take some days where um, maybe and some days I get a lot of cleaning done, other days I don't, but I'm focused more on the kids or taking time for myself. I'm just trying to balance everything. So thank you for understanding and I hope that you'll make sure you have the notification bell. It's next to the subscribe button. Make sure you ha you hit that so you get notified when I post a video on Thursdays. Why are you still going on about things I never did? Maybe you can't see that I'm hard to hold. I know I'm a basket case you think should be alone. But I still have my friends, don't want you All I need is them, don't want you I can barely sleep cause of you But I still have my friends, don't want you You're a nightmare, reminding me of who I am I feel scared sometimes Why'd you leave me be? I know I'm a mess but I don't need you to tell me So here soon you're going to see me cleaning our rugs and I actually just did this a couple of weeks ago but um, but wait till you see how dirty the water was after I was done cleaning them which again I only did it a couple of weeks ago but this time of the year our rugs that are at every entry entryway in the house it just gets really dirty. Um, we had over a foot of snow recently like maybe a couple of weeks ago and now it's warming up a little bit and the snow is melting the ground is so soft and muddy like you'll walk outside and it the ground almost sinks so a lot of mud and the rugs really started to show it and i know you guys can't really see it on camera but you could tell that there was mud on 
the rugs and I had someone recently say that they wash their rugs in the washing machine and I used to do that but you can tell where the backing on the rugs start to come off when you do that over time and I also had someone tell me that it's not good for the washing machine to wash rugs in your washing machine I don't know if that's true or not but when the backing started to come off I realized hey I can't do this anymore so I've been using my carpet cleaner on the rugs more frequently and um, I'm using my Hoover Power Dash Pet. I have two carpet cleaners and this one is just lightweight, easy to maneuver, and just easier for smaller jobs or smaller rooms. But don't you worry, I'm gonna be busting out my big Bissell carpet cleaner here soon because I'm gonna be deep cleaning every room in the house for spring cleaning and cleaning the carpet. So I think I'm gonna bust the Bissell out for those jobs. kind of crazy to me when you see the water and how much dirt was in the rugs it's just crazy because I just did this a couple of weeks ago and the rugs aren't thick you know what I mean so it's crazy to see how many times can I say crazy in one sentence it's crazy to me to see how much dirt these rugs hold and I think of you know the first thing that when, when people walk into the house, they're stepping on these rugs and then they're tracking in potentially more dirt onto the carpet or onto the hardwood floor. So I will probably be doing this more frequently here in the spring. To clean my stove top, my normal normal combo is the Jaws degreaser and then going in with the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser. And I usually spray the degreaser first and I let it sit for a few minutes. So I popped on over to the sink to scrub that out while the degreaser was sitting. I find that letting a product sit for a little bit works. Um, it makes, it kind of breaks up the mess a little bit easier. So if you have an area that's really dirty, spray something, spray a cleaner and let it sit. So um, I was gonna go back in after the degreaser had sat for a while and then with the Mrs. Meyer cream, Mrs. Meyer's cream cleanser. And if you guys are interested in trying out Jaws or Grove, I'll have links in my description. Neither of them are affiliate links, so don't think I'm pushing this because I get anything from it, but with Jaws, you can save 25% off if you use my code. And with Grove, if you use my link, you get a free gift set, like a whole gift set. So make sure you use those links if you wanna try the products out. And I've had a lot of people say that they're getting their Jaws products off of Amazon, which you totally can. I mean, I get it, I love Amazon, but it's the exact same price as it is on their website. And with my code, you get 25% off. So you're actually paying more money if you order off of Amazon. So make for sure you go to their website. I will go ahead and have my Instagram handle right here. You guys can come over and find me over there. If you have an Instagram, it's just another way I can connect with you, chat with you. And I tend to share way more about my life, my girls, um, and just, you know, more Jamie than just cleaning. So yeah, come find me on Instagram.
So to wipe down my countertops and my table, I am using my DIY cleanser that I mix up myself and then I was going to use the Mrs. Myers Mum on the kitchen table. And my DIY cleanser cleaner is one part rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, one part water, and then about a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap. And I will tell you the ratios aren't really that important. Like I don't measure anything out when I make this. Um, it's not really important as far as the water or the alcohol, but you just want to be careful with the dish soap. If you put too much, then it's just your surface. When you spray it, you'll be able to see the soap on the surface. I've done that before. So I usually just kind of like drop in a tiny bit um, when I make it. And when I clean my countertops, I usually do this or the Jaws granite cleaner. And I just like to switch it up because it just makes cleaning a little bit more fun, you know, if you're not just using the same exact cleaning products over and over and over. And it's also a cleaner you can use on your bathroom counters. And it's nice because if you let it sit um, because of the rubbing alcohol, it also serves as a disinfectant. I was going to use the Roomba in here to make my life a little bit easier, but the Roomba was not charged. The twins had moved it off of the charger, moved it away from the charger, so it wasn't charged. I was so mad. So I just quickly grabbed my cordless Dyson for a quick vacuum. That's my go-to if I just want something quick or for my hardwood floors. I did not want to deal with my Shark Apex Uplight because it has a cord. I just wanted something quick and fast. So I talked about Jaws in my last video, but a lot of people said they were glad I clarified some things about them. So their products are all non-toxic with the exception of the disinfectant, which I totally get why a disinfectant would be not non-toxic. Um, and I know there's some warnings on the disinfectant, but I'm pretty sure you're going to see that on any sort of disinfectant. Um, but I've never had any issues. I don't wear gloves, even though I get called out all the time for not wearing gloves. Um, but I don't wear gloves and I've never had an issue with it, but it's just nice because they're great cleaning products. Um, and it's just, it's almost an added bonus that they're non-toxic. I mean, my personal belief with cleaning products is, yeah, I mean, in a perfect world, I would love to use all non-toxic cleaning products the same way I would like to eat all organic, but I just don't think, at least for us, it's practical. I think sometimes you need to use the big guns you know um i always try to go non-toxic first and then sometimes i just need to go in with a heavy duty cleaner um, but i just try to reduce that as much as possible but i think that jaws and some of the specific products that i use from grove are really great
Like I said, I know my house was super messy and my parents had come over for my birthday and my mom was like, does this bother you at all? Um, and I was like, yeah, it really does. Like I find that when my house is messy, I'm just, I'm not in as good of a mood, but you also start to get to a point where when you're in the thick of raising three small children and just busy with life that you have to get to a point that it's okay to let things go and this little break was much needed and you know I don't I don't take on all of the responsibilities in our home but I even told Mike I'm like hey let's just sit back relax let's relax let's not worry about all of the things that we have to do we will get to it we will get back into the groove of things we just needed a little break um after being cooped up inside all winter and we just needed to relax and have fun so I would say that if you take a little break just you know don't beat yourself up when you do and honestly you guys are probably going to see this happen more frequently now like I said it's not going to happen all of the time because I know that I don't think I can can let it happen all of the time for myself but I do want to I do want to make it more of a habit of taking little breaks and just letting things go um, and having a little bit more fun still got this lovely blemish on my face. I should probably cover it up a little bit more, but whatever. I'm gonna embrace it. You guys don't care. You're here for the cleaning content, not for what my face looks like, right? <laughs> Anyways, okay, it is a new day. I am feeling refreshed, feeling good, going to get a jump start while the twins are napping on some cleaning up here. So I hope you guys are ready. Be ready for some motivation and hopefully you're ready to get some things done. So I was spraying the Tide antibacterial spray on the couch. It's for fabrics. And then I noticed that there were these marks on the wall down the hallway. And I know it's hard to see on camera, but there was one area where there was a pretty big mark. I have no idea what it was, but it's, I mean, I'll blame it on the kids. I don't know what they did. So I just put some Dawn dish soap in a bowl with warm water and scrubbed it all down. And that's kind of my go-to for cleaning the walls because it cleans anything off that's on the wall without stripping the paint. So here on day two, I was just vacuuming our bedroom and then I was going to pick up our bathroom, just do a normal clean without cleaning our shower. I hate cleaning my shower, hate it, hate it, hate it. So I typically just do that every other week. Um, but I wanted to do like a basic clean of the bathroom and then tackle some more laundry. But but something I did want to mention is, I don't know if, if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, I don't know if you noticed that I I tend to post more about the twins than I do Avery. And there's kind of two reasons for that. Number one, Avery, she'll be six at the end of April and she goes to school full time. She plays independently by herself. She does her own thing. She rides her bike outside. 
um, you know, all of that type of stuff. Um, the twins will be two at the end of March, so they are not super independent. I have to follow them around or they'll be getting into stuff. So they're always with me. So that's part of it. But also, as Avery has gotten a little bit older, I've kind of pulled back on sharing more of her on social media. And I think it's just because she's developing more of a personality, like a real personality. And I never want her to be judged. Not that she ever has been judged, but I don't want her to be judged. You know, she goes to school. I don't want her to be known as being on YouTube, um, being on the internet. I just... I want to be able, like if she ever looks at me and says, I don't want to be on your channel, I want to be able to say no problem and take her away and know that it doesn't affect what I'm doing. You know, it's it's not her channel, it's my channel. And I don't know, it's just as she gets older, I shy more from sharing her versus the twins. And I don't favor the twins at all. I'm like, people probably think I favor the twins and I don't. Um, I spend as much time with Avery, I just don't document her as much. Um, you know, the twins, they're toddlers. They're two. It's like they do the same things over and over. And yeah, they're real people, but they're toddlers and it's just different. Um, I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but I don't favor one kid over the other. It's just I'm a little bit more protective of Avery being out on the internet as she has gotten older. And um, I mean, I let her be on the camera if she wants to be if she doesn't want to be she doesn't have to be um i don't hide her but yeah just wanted to share that just walking on some of the areas that were kind of dry because I had to go in there for a second. I don't know if this sounds crazy, but you know when you mop and then the floor almost feels sticky afterwards? I love that feel feeling. <laughs> um, I know like you want to say sticky probably means it's dirty, but it's sticky in a different way than if you know, you would spill something on the floor. It's just, I noticed that when our, my floors are dirty or if I haven't mopped in a couple of days, they just, I think they have a lot of dust and dirt on them. So they're not, I don't know, they're not sticky. <laughs> um, and when I'm done mopping, whether it's with one of my, it's my o Cedar spin mop, my steam mop, if I get on my hands and knees, I just love that little sticky feeling kind of. Um, to me, it just means there's a clean floor. All right. Last thing that I'm gonna do tonight, fold the laundry. Now, you guys seem to like it when I call you out. I know that someone watching this has laundry to fold. So, are we gonna fold it together? Let's fold it together, let's get it done, and then feel good about having all of the laundry done. Let me know what your laundry routine is like. Um, I used to do one load, you know, washer, dryer, fold, put away every single day. And then I think because of the crazy busy season we're at right now in our lives, that laundry has gotten put on the back burner. And I've kind of let it pile up a little bit. And I, I've kind of thought like, I don't know if this is too bad of a situation. Um, so I'm trying to figure out which is better. So when I say I let it pile up, I don't let the we still do a load a day, but we just let like maybe two to three days of clean laundry pile up. And then it's almost like I can forget about it. Cause I mean, throwing a load of laundry in doesn't take that much time out of my day. So I just make sure I throw it in and then I spend a bigger chunk of time folding it. And I'm just trying to figure out which routine I like better, but let me know what laundry routine works for you. To mop in here, I am using the e-cloth mop. And if you're not familiar with e-cloth, they are just rags, kind of like microfiber cleaning rags that you use just water. They attract bacteria. And I know it sounds crazy and something that doesn't make sense and that's not real, 
but these cloths are amazing. I love the stovetop one. I love there's a glass and mirror one. There's a general purpose one that you can use to clean your countertops. I love the stainless steel one. I love the mop because I just keep it upstairs and you just have to wet that little head and it velcros right on. And so just for quick, easy mops, I love this mop. If you guys want to check it out, um, I also have a code for 10% off in the des uh, description, but they're just nice, um, nice rags and just nice to another option of not cleaning with a cleaner. You don't need a cleaner. You just need water, chemical free, all of that. But <laughs> I went to clean the bathroom and I had the surprise in the toilet. Again, if you guys watched a couple weeks ago, same thing, although that time it was way worse. And in this bathroom specifically, I think the toilet doesn't get flushed enough. It's the girl's bathroom. Um, Avery's the only one who uses it and it just doesn't get flushed a lot. And I think it has something to do with the weather outside because it doesn't get like this in the summertime, but it just gets dirty really fast. And we've tried like the tabs, the tabs that go in the tank and we've tried everything, the things that hang in there and none of it works. And I just think it's just due to not getting flushed enough. And it's like, eh, it's fine. It's upstairs. Nobody sees it. But yeah. So the rest of day three, I was just picking up Avery's room really quickly because I wanted to run the Roomba in there. And then I popped into the twins room. I wanted to pick that up and then run the Roomba. And I get asked all of the time how we get our Roomba to go in lines. And we don't, we didn't do anything. Someone said we have mapping technology with that. And I will say we spent a good amount of money on this Roomba because we've had cheap robotic vacuums before and they never worked they were crazy um so we saved up a bunch of gift cards so that's my tip is if say for your birthday people are always like what do you want and if you don't want anything specifically or for christmas um we asked for a bunch of target gift cards and then we used it towards a like good Roomba because we didn't want you know you don't want to spend that much money on a vacuum so we put all towards that and it was just nice to be able to get a good Roomba and that's I think because of the mapping technology through Roomba that's how it goes in the straight lines I just took my sweatshirt off because I got a little hot <laughs> I think it's getting to that time of the year where it's still cold out here. Like I think it's in maybe the high 30s, but when I'm inside in the heat cleaning, I'm getting hot. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for sticking around. You're still here. You are amazing. I hope you know that. I hope you know I love you guys. Um, yeah, you guys are awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And there will be a new video up on Thursday. So make sure you have it written down in your calendar. Make sure you have the notifications on so you get notified. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.